What's up, Brew Crew? Day two of Origins Game Fair 2024. Uh, today, the vendor hall opens, uh, which is going to be um, a lot of fun. Can't wait to go check that out. Uh, we'll take you guys in, show you what's around in there. Um, also, meeting with a couple of publishers today uh, to have them demo some games. Uh, so, we'll be showing you those as well. It is hot still uh still in the 90s so walking back and forth between the convention center and the hotel has been um not great <laughs> it's extremely hot out um really trying to make sure that we are staying hydrated uh staying out of the sun as much as possible and really just trying to avoid the heat whenever we can uh but yeah, other than that, I guess let's go check out the vendor hall. What's up, Beer City Games? Did I get it? Yeah. Nailed yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Tim. I'm here with Chaotic Great. We published Gudnack, which is a card game played on a three by three grid. Uh, here we got two of our four factions, the Delguan facing up versus the Shard Sworn. In this game, you're going to build a deck of 20 cards. You get to customize this deck uh, like your favorite card games and then you're going to deploy cards onto the battlefield. Your ultimate goal is you're trying to move your dudes across the battlefield, fight and kill your enemies, and siege their stronghold. You do that by being in this space called the gates when there are no cards on top. If you do that, you win. Uh, plays in about uh, 20 to 30 minutes for the two player, but if you can see over there, we got our four player mode set up. You play on teams or free for all. Uh, most importantly, we've got 
Sweet Demon Hammer here. Come check us out, Booth 622. See ya. <laughs>
once you defeat the monsters, you get to collect their treasure, and then you get more options to keep going. So, Very cool. that's the game. We're going to be running a Kickstarter in mid-July. Okay. Uh, you can sign up, hit the QR code to sign up, and uh, be notified when we're launching. Excellent. I love that cover art. That's thank sweet. You. Thank, <laughs> you, thank you. Yeah, the game's going to, um, during the Kickstarter, it's going to be $29, and then it'll retail for $35 okay. once we're done. That's a very good price. Thank you. <laughs>um so this is not my game uh this is uh the designer's name is emily vincent this is uh her first game uh that she's putting out through a publishing company pink hawk games uh, it's going to go to kickstarter in the fall of this year um but essentially what we're doing here is uh it's based on the definitely true historical fact that pirates loved having tea together um so in this game you're a group of pirates on a pirate ship making food to present to the captain um, the captain has these uh, food requirements here, so in this case, uh, pirate might want to pair some grog with a meal that has chocolate and these uh, orange flags. Um, on your turn, you're going to be placing your pirate in one of the three different sections of the pirate ship. Each of them does something a little different, so like the smuggler's hole will be where you acquire new uh, tea cards, captain's quarters where you're serving your, your meal, etc. Um, you can also acquire these various animal companions and tools that do different things on your turn. Um, but the key thing is serving your meals and tea. Um, and because pirates don't really play by the rules, one of the things you could do is let's say we're holding on to these two cards here and we see that the captain wants something with orange flags and chocolate. Well, we've got them on two separate cards, so why not just smash them together, now we have a combined petit four arugula goat cheese sandwich for the captain. Maybe doesn't taste good, but it is technically exactly what the captain wanted. <laughs> so we could ship that his way and we'll, that'll score us a, a, a more uh, reward and uh, booty. Um, so the game will end once uh, someone has served the captain four different meals. Uh, and the player who wins will be the player who uh, served the most valuable meal. So maybe you uh, maybe you served more than other players, but that's not necessarily going to lock in the win for you. Um, yeah. The value being. Yeah. The, so the value, the value is kind of calculated the... by uh, however however you scored on this requirement here, plus the value on this topmost gotcha. card here. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. When, and when is this coming? Uh, coming to Kickstarter in fall of 2024. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you it. want, you could take a card if you... Uh, will do. Yeah.
Alright guys, here we are with Sean from Kids Table Board Games. He's going to show us layers. Yeah, so in layers, uh, you were an adventurer uh, attending the Adventurers Guild and you are doing one of your final challenges, which is going to be uh, building a dungeon for your opponent and running your opponent's dungeon. So if we look at the board here, we can see all, all prototype bits here, but everybody's gonna start with the same set of uh, walls, monsters, treasures, and traps, and you're going to build your own dungeon. And you're gonna place uh, different uh, elements out in your dungeon, and your opponent's gonna be tasked with running it, and you're gonna be tasked with running theirs. We use uh, a unique action system where you're gonna be spending cubes, which have different abilities. Uh, once you have spent them all, your your round is over, and the next round, they're all gonna refresh. But if you run into a monster, uh, and it does damage to you, or if you fall into a trap, you might have your cubes fatigued. And so when they're coming back to you, it's gonna take an extra turn for them to refresh for you. Everything uh, that you discover about your opponent's uh, dungeon, you're gonna keep track of, and you're actually gonna be following your own progress through the dungeon on uh, a little uh, sheet here, uh, where you're going to record the walls, the, the where you find the exit, uh, the different treasures that you can come across in there. The game itself plays in about 30 minutes, uh, but you're gonna wanna play it again and again because once you finish uh, the most basic setup of the game, inside the box, there are going to be new boxes which are gonna contain different elements for the game. New monsters, new abilities, new powers. Uh, there's gonna be about five to 10 of these extra uh, boxes in there. And we plan for the Kickstarter to have even more content uh, to add into it. So it is like, kind of like a first dungeon crawler game, like an accessible kid-friendly dungeon crawler game, which really is up to the player, uh, the levels of creativity they wanna put into building their dungeon. And so we're really excited about this one. Uh, we've been showing it off uh, all week, and it is coming to Kickstarter uh, later in the fall. There's gonna be so many good surprises in that campaign. So really looking forward to layers. All right, so uh, another game that we're super, super excited about is Cafe Beras. This is the new game from Roberta Taylor, famous for uh, Creature Comforts and Maple Valley. Some of my and, favorites. Oh, great games, great <laughs> games. So in this one, you are designing the menu and decor of your very own coffee shop. You just happen to be a capybara. And so on your turn, you're gonna do something with a card from your hand. Like you might uh, decide, oh, I want to uh, start selling a limonada. So you will add that. Uh, to your uh, cafe and each uh, different item that you add provides you know uh, a decor or a menu item for your uh, cafe and another thing that you can do with these cards is each one of them has a customer on the bottom and this customer in particular wants tea and muffins and soup and so for each one of those elements that you satisfy you can discard that card and get bucks for that and that money is going to be used to purchase more things for your coffee shop. Now, if you happen to satisfy uh, a customer's need completely, let's say, let's say I satisfy all these needs for this customer and I have the right decor type, that customer can become a regular, which is points for me at the end of the game, but also it's going to drive us towards the game end because uh, as soon as a player has three uh, regulars, we're going to uh, each have one more turn and then score out the game. You'll get points for the different menu items you have in your uh, cafe, for the regulars that you have, and then also we've got special guests. So each game, different special guests are gonna show up, like the card players, the game designer, and the napper. And if you satisfy those uh, requirements, you're gonna get extra points uh, for those as well. So a very simple game which does, uh, which makes real clever use, uh, dual use of these cards. And we're super excited for this one. Unfortunately, we do not have this for sale here. You're gonna have to wait uh, for Gen Con uh, for this one to be on sale. But uh, we've already got such great feedback and people are just drawn in by the beautiful cover. So uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun showing it off.
All right, so one more game I want to talk about. This is on our other brand, uh, which is uh, Burnt Island Games, and this is Endeavor Deep Sea. So this was on Kickstarter last year, coming to retail later this year, and it's going to be available to purchase at Gen Con. So Endeavor Deep Sea, very cool. It keeps uh, much of the same mechanisms that you'd be familiar with if you'd ever played uh, Endeavor Age of Sail, uh, but it introduces a modular board. So you're going to be uh, adding new tiles to the board, uh, making the ocean wider and deeper as you play. And every game you play, you're gonna play with a different um, mission. So there's uh, a ton of different missions in the box. And one of the cool things about the missions is each one of them can be played competitively, cooperatively, or solo. So you can experience them a multitude of different ways, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, like, I mean, this one, we've had lots of feedback from people who are fans of Endeavor. Endeavor has its fans. And most people who play this one say they like this even better than Age of Sail, and I have to agree with them. So really looking forward to showing off this one. Hi, I'm Bree Goldman. I'm the marketing manager from Arcane Wonders. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about our upcoming and current releases. First of all, we've got Super Kawaii Pets. We've actually got the Super Kawaii Pets Lounge right here, where we've got looped kitty kid videos, and we're showing demos of the game on pumpkin couches. Uh, this is a 15-minute game where you are adopting sad animals, trying to make them happy. Uh, so we've got World Wonders with the Mundo expansion. So World Wonders is a polyomino tile laying game where you're also trying to meet the requirements to place these chunky wooden monuments on your player board. The Mundo expansion adds nine new monuments and a new play mode that makes those monuments more valuable in endgame scoring. Next up, we've got the Aquatica Coral Reefs expansion. So Aquatica, the base game, has been out for a couple of years now. That is a game where you are acquiring or conquering locations, putting them onto your player board, and then raising them under this triple-layered board to try to gain the abilities that are, um, that are present on those locations. The new Coral Reefs expansion adds a ton of new content, including a completely new board and more mantas, more, uh, it adds these plastic coral pieces that you can now use a new seed action to place on locations, that, and you can then earn points for them once you've completely raised the location. So lots of new stuff going on in the Coral Reefs expansion. This is Buffet Boss. This will be a new release from Arcane Wonders in roughly November, December of this year. In Buffet Boss, everyone is competing to get food onto their plate from the buffet. But you have to balance that food carefully to make sure it doesn't fall off your plate on the floor. There is a three second rule though. So if you happen to knock something off, if you pick it up, blow it off, you can put it back on your plate, carefully. Uh, there will be drafting in this game, so there will be a bunch of different food on the buffet uh, tray that you can choose from. Everybody will choose a card, and that will be the food item they add to their plate. There will also be, uh, you'll have character cards that give unique end game goals for each player. So you might wind up wanting specific foods on your plate or, or foods of a specific color touching each other that you'll be able to get end game points for. Now these are secret and you'll get two of them and you don't have to choose which one to score until the end of the game. So you can always change direction.
Hey everybody, it is 11.30, actually it's probably closer to midnight on Thursday. I uh, had a very long day, just about ready to head to bed. We just got back from Brothers. Brothers is kind of a new tradition for us whenever we go to Origins or Gen Con. We'll stop in at Brothers. They have really good drink specials. Uh, and We usually get the deep fried Oreos. Uh, but they don't have those here, which was a bummer. But we're going to head to bed tonight and uh, get ready to head back into the hall tomorrow. So we'll see you then.